Okay, since uh, uh, we are uh, talking about um, emotions, uh, uh, which uh, uh, sometimes are considered to be mental states, so what is your mental state now? Can you tell me? What, what is your mental state now? Anticipation. Anticipation? Okay. What about jamming? What is... It's okay. Huh? Yeah. Neutral mental state. What is the, the mental state of a nice girl sitting next to you? <laughs> huh? What is it? Huh? Huh? Silence. What? Silence. Silence. You, oh, okay. What about the other? Can you tell? Please tell. Calmness. Huh? Calmness. Calmness. S sleepiness. Calmness. Sleepiness. Yeah, okay. Calmness. <laughs> <laughs> what about the others? Curiosity. 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 Yeah? Excitement. <laughs> okay, then uh, what, what about the other people around? What the the the, photo, the, uh, the movie director there, that girl with glasses? What is your emotional state of mind now? Focused. Focused. <laughs> yeah, and the boy behind there? Uh, calmness, serenity. Calmness? <laughs> serenity. Serenity. What's that? <laughs> I never have anything like that. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I mean, a whole mixture of things, tiredness. Now you're asking me, uh, slight grumpiness and, and shyness. You know, being, it's not, it's not very English thing to be asked how you feel. Really uh, we don't die. <laughs> <laughs> we don't ask what you feel in this country. No. <laughs> uh, but it, it is strange because also in other country, um, uh, usually you don't ask how you feel. You know. For example, I remember I was living in India, uh, in the up in the Himalaya, and when. Um, uh, you meet somebody, they ask uh, either one of two things. First, uh, where you are going. Uh, <laughs> other, where you are coming from. Uh, the another question is, uh, did you, have you eaten already? Yeah? These are, are kind of, uh, more or less they are kind of a way of greeting, you know. Mm -hmm. We are greeting each other. And it's a little bit more concrete than saying how you feel, you know. They say how you feel is really something heavy, you know, to ask, you know. <laughs> okay, I am feeling, you know, if I tell you the truth, I'm feeling very bored. But, uh, yes, but I, I, I must put up some energy to, to explain something. <laughs> Yeah, but it would take a little time, you know. It would take a little more time. So maybe we just uh, do what we can in the period of time. I miss my tears. Okay, so. I think uh, Igor is playing uh, uh, so quite well to the point uh, in uh, uh, relation to the, uh, to the emotions, the, uh, some of uh, uh, the mechanism related to the emotions. Uh, but, but now I, I, mm, I would like that you are not just uh, listening to me or, or looking at me, you know. First of all, maybe Igor is a little nicer than me, but um, I'm not that. <laughs> I'm, not that <laughs> I'm not exactly, you know, like Brad Pitt, so you don't need to look at me, you know. And uh, also, um, like, 
as uh, words are uh, not that important. And I usually words, uh, they are kind of uh, uh, referring to, they're not referring to a meaning of words, you know? There's no meaning in words. There's only meaning what you, what you ascribe to them, but in, in real meaning, there's no meaning, you know? We have also, we say, like, uh, in, the, in the, some aspect of the Buddhist philosophy, they say, oh, phenomena are just words, you know? So that means nothing, basically. But um, now, Igor having explained a few points uh, that I think if you are interested, as you say, he will develop uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's see how, in general, uh, we, can, uh, uh, we can deal with our emotion if we find them uh, uh, disturbing, no, sometime. If we find that we are okay with our uh, emotion, then it's okay, we even don't need to be here at this very moment. We can go outside to drink a coffee. But uh, if we feel that sometime it's disturbing, then we can see how, in general, people uh, uh, react to this. Uh, so please, what you, when you are listening, try to, uh, to establish a kind of presence. No, and uh, first of all, to establish presence, we need to sit a little straight. Not, uh, not leaning like, for example, Julia is doing now on the chair. <laughs> Oh, by, by the way, I want double time, eh? Double time. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm speaking more slowly. Huh? But words don't matter. Huh? No? Uh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Words don't matter. Words don't matter. Uh, so let's first establish a kind of sense of presence uh, uh, from the bottom. No, not, not from the mind, just uh, like from the bottom, really, uh, really uh, in words from the bottom, you know, where, where your, your bottom touch here, the seat, and the uh, feel that uh, you are here, you know, you're not, we are not uh, uh, somewhere else. Although, for example, I would like to be somewhere else, but unfortunately I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't tell you where I would like to be now. <laughs> okay, and uh, so we, we try a little to, uh, to be uh, present and uh, at the same time relax, but, uh, but not uh, uh, sleeping. <coughs> so, uh, more in general in the uh, Buddhist philosophy, when we are uh, talking uh, about uh, emotion, given all what uh, Igor had been uh, explaining uh, uh, before, um, we are saying uh, uh, disturbing emotion. Uh, why disturbing? Disturbing from for what for what reasons? Uh, Disturbing because uh, there is a basic uh, uh, assumption, you know, like in Buddhism, that the mind, uh, there is a kind of uh, an innate uh, uh, condition of uh, uh, unperturbability of the mind, which is always uh, uh, there with us. So, but somehow, when we uh, experience uh, different things, now we are, we are speaking about emotion, then uh, we, are, we are losing contact with that uh, state of, uh, you know, imperturbability, that you can, you can be there uh, while mm, everything is occurring, you know, uh, while anger is occurring, while attachment uh, is occurring. You can kind of uh, uh, remain uh, somehow uh, or present. Uh, you can remain uh, uh, uninvolved. So, emotion is something that when uh, arise, uh, they make your uh, mind a little unclear. They muddy 
your uh, stream of mind. So this is how, in general, uh, they explain, but uh, uh, more ordinarily, in a more ordinary way. And, uh, but in, in a specific, so, in, I learned along the different uh, spiritual path, how they uh, deal w with emotions. But we have a, a certain way also of uh, uh, reacting to our emotion. Because sometimes we feel them a little unpleasant, you know? Not always we follow them like crazy. You know? And uh, uh, we give up ourselves to the emotion until, you know, we, we shoot someone or uh, something like that. So, we... Uh, uh, the first, the most uh, common thing, you know, or mm, the, the most, uh, not the most common, but one of the, uh, I think the way in we're dealing with this uh, uh, emotion is, is that of uh, suppression, no? Because uh, we are not, uh, 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 we see that uh, somehow we are, uh, we're not, when the emotion is there, especially strong, we're not in control of the, uh, situation anymore. So we, uh, uh, we don't know what is uh, happening. We have a little fear. Maybe, you know, I'm uh, uh, losing my uh, ground. I'm losing my certainty. What I have uh, 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 established, what I am uh, uh, used to. And so, in general, we are trying to kind of uh, 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 suppress that emotion. Think, and. Uh, so thinking, oh, that is uh, really, I must, not, uh, I must not be attached, or I must not uh, uh, be uh, uh, angry. So this is one of the most uh, uh, common way in which uh, we are uh, uh, dealing with uh, our emotion. Particularly, we are living in a society, you cannot just uh, display openly your emotion, you know, the way they consider you a kind of a, a crazy person. And you need to live with others, and you need to sort of uh, eat and uh, work, and we depend totally on others. Uh, and so we are uh, kind of suppressing our uh, uh, emotion. And, uh, and, the, and this method, uh, you know, it, it is good sometimes, no? It is good. Uh, but the, the only problem is uh, that... Uh, when you are suppressing emotion, it's not that you are eliminating uh, what the energy of that kind of emotion. It's it's always uh, uh, somewhere uh, in you, and uh, even if you suppress the emotion, that energy also may manifest in another way. For example, like the shadow that uh, Morley was uh, uh, talking last night. Uh, it's like uh, somehow. It's, a, it's like when I usually always give this example. When you are pressing a ball, uh, a balloon, uh, underwater with your hand, it stays there as long as you pressure, you know? But then uh, as soon as you release the pressure, pump, it comes up even stronger than before. The same way, for example, when we are using medicine, we are taking immunosuppressor for some kind of disease. Maybe someone of you is taking immunosuppressor. And they work really in that way. For as long as you take them, then uh, uh, things are controlled. The moment you are not taking anymore, it just come back. Even sometimes it come back uh, even uh, uh, stronger, no? So, for example, uh, um, unfortunately, this probably we can see like uh, nobody is, uh, uh, Mm, like well, widespread even among uh, uh, spiritual teachers, you know, like uh, uh, some of them who have more like the, uh, they're more monks mm, and like that. Uh, and uh, we can see what happened in the, you know, the, in, the, in the churches, you know. They uh, suppressed maybe their last, the passion, but then in the backside of the church, they're screwing children, you know. And it's not much better in the Buddhist world or in other world. More or less, they are kind of uh, at the same level, you know. So, uh, for us, uh, I think uh, 
in general, uh, this is a method uh, that does not work unless, you know, you get yourself so confused, so fucked up in your mind that you reach the bottom, you know, that you really, you know, uh, touch the bottom uh, of the things of yourself, then uh, maybe uh, um, some time is uh, useful to uh, adopt this kind of approach. Because uh, uh, suppress also, there are different ways of suppressing. You, you can suppress by thinking, okay, I don't want to be uh, attached, I don't want to be uh, angry, like that. You can suppress also with your behavior, you behave in a nice way. Uh, or you can suppress also like uh, uh, through methods of meditation. And uh, so this, uh, this, this ordinary kind of uh, way of responding to the emotion by suppressing then it becomes also a kind of spiritual part, a, 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 spi a religion, you know? So it's, a, it's not that, you know, uh, for example, the theocratic religion, they say, okay, we have uh, received the 12th commandment, etc., and then we establish that religion. It's not like that. They have received the, the ordinary impulses of uh, uh, common people, and they build up a kind of uh, a religion, no? And, uh, for example, uh, in Buddhism, uh, then we have this uh, approach when you are trying to uh, uh, suppress. You are mm, adopting the opposite kind of uh, state of mind. You know, for, like, maybe you are angry, and uh, you, you, instead of being angry, you try to be compassionate, you know, try to be understanding of the other person. Yeah, he's insulted me, but still, you know, he's a nice guy or whatever, you know. So, and this uh, uh, may work a, a little bit. Uh, and there are training in which uh, uh, you do that. So, but this training actually are highly conceptual, you know. And when you, your training are highly conceptual, it means you're building up something artificial, you know. You're contrasting something artificial with the hope that at a certain point that artificiality will sort of fall away and you remain in total purity. But it's, you know, it's not very easy that it happened uh, uh, in that way. And, uh, and you see people following the uh, spiritual path who are doing that, building up, you know, building up love, compassion in an artificial way. And uh, they can do that when they are in a monastery, when they are in a... Uh, uh, protected environment, but when they are on the metro, when they are outside, nobody cares about their compassion, about their love, their attitude, you know. In one second, they can break that kind of, you know, that training that they, they made for, for a long time. So, and also, you know, that, uh, as we say, you, you try to suppress something with another force, but then uh, this goes underground, you know, underground and manifests in other way. Maybe other side of your mind become a little unhealthy, you know, you become double personality, three personality. So it, it is not a good way, but this is not only the only way in the spiritual path that they are trying to work with emotion. They are trying to work also in another way with, uh, uh, for example, uh, and more like uh, 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 the general the mindfulness kind of uh, uh, practice or like a, a shamatha uh, sort of practice. This is more or less the same thing as uh, 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 suppressing the emotion because uh, you're not uh, uh, really working with the emotion themselves, but you create a space in which you are temporarily free from the emotion. But the emotion will be always there, you know? So in a way, uh, even that kind of uh, type of mindfulness practice, of shamatha practice, it's always, you know, it is very useful, but uh, it is always based on kind of wanting to suppress the emotion, wanting to, uh, you know, uh, uh, get rid of the emotion. Uh, that, that is normal, because uh, when we are assaulted by the, by worry, by, uh, by jealousy, etc., we uh, 
At the certain point, we cannot even stand ourselves, you know, why you are so jealous, you know, you're so stupid, why you are uh, so attached like that, no? So we try, even we are trying to stop. Uh, if you cannot stop with your mind, sometimes your body stops also. No, we didn't calculate well. Recalculate. <laughs> 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 I just want to, to what I have to explain. So, uh, for example, I remember I had a girlfriend, uh, you know, uh, a very long time ago, and uh, uh, she, uh, when she was angry, she was always think, thinking about the reason why, wow, he insulted me, and uh, he shouldn't, shouldn't have done that to me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I did not deserve it. So the energy of that anger was getting so strong, and she could not handle anymore with her mind. And the body was handling it. it was, the body was shutting off. So she was entering in a kind of, a, how do you say, uh, epileptic, sort of epileptic crisis, you know? And at that moment, you know, the, the, the motion would stop and uh, would be washed away with all the physical consequences uh, that uh, uh, there are. So and, uh, this is one way. Another way, uh, this is a little, uh, a uh, bit different, but anyway, coming back to this, uh, this emotion, this way of dealing with the emotion, it's, it's more like uh, and that of the, of the people who are always saying, oh no, we cannot do that, you know? So for example, when we have a meeting and we are planning something, you know, uh, for example, tomorrow you have a meeting and you plan, oh, we should have a bigger place, a nicer place with a garden for like the link. And then you will have the people who say, no, we cannot do that, you know, it's really something like that. So the people who are really, you know, they have fear to, uh, uh, to see the future, to see the change, uh, to see the transformation, and they prefer to remain here, you know, where it's a comfortable seat. <laughs> and then, you are not moving and uh, 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 remain there. It's much more easy, you know, because when you think about future and then uh, project new things, it's not sure, you know, what, whether it will be, uh, or the outcome it will be, you know. It's just maybe the force of your intention that will uh, bring you forward, but not really 100% uh, sure what, what will be the outcome. Now, there is another uh, way of dealing with uh, uh, emotion. And uh, uh, traditionally, uh, this is uh, uh, the way of dealing the, with emotion that we find uh, in, in uh, more in the Buddhist tantra, but also in the uh, in the Hindu tantra. And uh, how is that? Uh, 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 this is based on the principle that somehow, you know, okay, just like uh, in an ordinary way, you know you cannot deal with emotion. So an ordinary way, you know, for example, when you are angry, when you are attached, when you are jealous, pride, etc., this is bad. You know? But, you know, uh, and, and, uh, and um, they are saying, but still, you know, and there is some, we, we can do something. We can uh, try to, uh, uh, use that energy of that emotion uh, and so take away that kind of, kind of, let's say, detoxify that emotion, like you det detoxify an, a, a medicine, an ingredient of a herbal medicine. And so how you detoxify, this is not really easy because if you want to follow that approach, then it's a long story and it involves many things. For example, you have to follow a curriculum, and for many years you there you do this and that. It's not that it's something immediate. Maybe there is some method you can experience it immediately, but somehow it's like uh, 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 to experience the same emotion, but uh, in a kind of uh, uh, you your uh, not being yourself. No, but was, for example, you know. I say, now I'm, I'm, I'm really angry with uh, uh, Jamian for some reason, you know, which I will not tell the reason, but I have a reason. Uh, but, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and then uh, I, uh, uh, so, and then you maybe 
what do you do? Okay, you still have that anger, but you think yourself you are one of these demons of the Japanese cartoon, you know? And you feel yourself one of these demons with all, sometimes nowadays there's a fashion in which uh, the young people, they are wearing all this kind of uh, uh, sort of uniform, metal and whatever, very strange, and they feel uh, uh, like that. So somehow you're sort of uh, transpersonified. You know, you are transpersonified and you experience the same emotion, but uh, you know, somehow your usual self is not there. There is another kind of uh, uh, self which experiences uh, uh, that emotion. So in that way you are detoxifying the emotion. So I'm always wondering, for example, if there is the way to apply that principle without, you know, uh, following the, the, the curriculum uh, of uh, what they have in Tibetan Buddhism, for example, or in Hindu, in which you have to take an initiation and then you imagine yourself with like a kind of um, a, a type of deity, and, but first you need an initiation and then you need uh, to do some mantra and all that, etc. Maybe uh, this can be done just using the Japanese cartoon, you know, so you don't need all that kind of sovereign structure, you know, which is being build up in the in the in the years, etc. And the, probably in a few in a few years will not exist anymore, you know. So this is somehow the way we can uh, 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 detoxify that uh, 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 the emotion, but still yeah, using the energy, keeping the the energy, so you're not suppressing the energy, but you, you kind of let it be, you let it uh, 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 develop. So. This is one thing, the, the second uh, approach. Are you still with me or somewhere else? Are you wandering somewhere? Where? Huh? Some better place? Huh? So uh, we are still here, you know? Still, I'm still touching with my butt on the chair, you know? <laughs> I think it's more soft than yours, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm still feeling that. So now the... Uh, um, the, the third approach is, is really more uh, an approach uh, 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 which is more uh, 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 mature. Actually, now I'm simplifying things, you know. I'm simplifying because, uh, for example, uh, when you are uh, in, the, in the approach in which you suppress the emotion, they're not just uh, like suppressing, they're also trying to understand why you have an emotion, where this emotion is coming, etc. what are the conditions for its arising. So there is that kind of analysis that more or less, like maybe like in psychology, that, uh, the, uh, that can help you, you know. There is also that, uh, that way. But the intention is basically the same. You know, you are uh, uh, dealing with that emotion Mm, on the basis of the, uh, the concept that uh, uh, the emotion has uh, uh, inherent positive and negative values, no? So what are the, the emotion that has a negative value which is inherent uh, in them? You need to get rid of them. And also, you know, in that, in that concept, uh, the emotion is not part of yourself. They're saying, you observe the emotion like they're doing mindfulness, more or less like Igor was explaining. You're observing the emotion, etc. But the emotion, then you say, oh, this is not me, you know. No. So the basic idea is that, uh, you know, your mind is cloudless. Your mind is uh, calm from before. But there's some kind of pollutant coming in, which we call emotion. So you, whatever you do, you analyze, try to see the, the dynamic of this emotion, or you try to suppress with a meditation method or with some other method, it's always the same thing. It's always considering that emotion uh, 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 negative. So in this uh, second approach, that of kind of sublimation, let's say, then it, you say, okay, it's negative, but we, maybe we can do something with that energy. Already it is different. Already is uh, undermining the concept that uh, you know emotion and uh, have an inherent uh, 
a negative or positive value. It's already destroying that kind of idea when you can use the energy of that emotion. So, but here, you know, in the third approach that I call more like a, a, a recognition, this is uh, uh, is even uh, uh, different because, uh, you know, in this approach, it's not that you are considering the emotion something that you look at and there, uh, and there is outside you don't identify. No, the emotion is yourself. It's exactly yourself is a, a part of yourself, it's a part of your nature. You will never get rid of the emotions. So it's, uh, they are always there. You know, it's an illusion that you can get rid of the emotion, you know, you can just stop them a little. So they are always there and they are just uh, like a, a part of your nature. They are, they, are, they are an inherent part of your nature. It's not they are something clouds that come in an empty space. It's not like that. They are part of your nature. So uh, in that sense, uh, you know, and that, regardless also whether they're good emotion, or bad emotion, it doesn't really matter. Everything is already in you. And so it's not that you have to do something, you know. It's not that you, uh, you, you need to act on, on, uh, uh, on these uh, uh, emotions. So what, how we do then? Uh, it is... It is just we are saying you try to uh, uh, remain uh, <coughs> more or less uh, 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 relaxed when you experience the emotion. Of course, you we need to train in that. You know, sometimes we are saying, okay, you are uh, you are not stirring up the water, and at a certain point, the water lo uh, the mud of the water goes away. You know. So in the same way, that when you are not uh, stirring up your, your, your mind, even with the idea that I must get rid of that emotion, I must do something about it. But because this is essentially the same thing, stirring up the mind in a certain way. So it, we uh, uh, just uh, uh, relax in, the, in whatever uh, emotion we have. Notice that you... Uh, just wherever you are, there is a motion that is uh, occurring, and then you don't need to do anything particular. Then people say, but what do you do when I have anger? Nothing. There is absolutely nothing to do. But of course, then, you know, <coughs> this uh, uh, implies that first of all, uh, uh, first of all, you have uh, uh, understanding, you know, you have understanding uh, uh, of uh, the capacity to notice things, like Igor was saying, to notice what is uh, going on in the mind, etc. So you see the emotion and uh, and thoughts and like that, like a, just like a picture that we see in front of here, and uh, and uh, but uh, at that point you we are not looking at the picture, uh, no. You're not, uh, <coughs> you're not thinking what kind of color is that picture, uh, who painted it or something like that. No, there's, there's nothing of that sort. You're just uh, 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 remaining in your uh, or relaxed uh, uh, state of presence. And then the only thing is that you, you need to notice that uh, emotions. Uh, you know, otherwise, if you are, and, and that means recognizing and it's not that you recognize that emotion as empty or something like they say in Buddhism, like not real or something. No, it's not like that. The emotion is quite real. We know very well, you know, because it affects our body, etc. Recognizing the emotion doesn't mean that you can recognize the empty emotion and nature of the emotion. No, you just uh, uh, notice the emotion itself and keep. Uh, 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 noticing, but it's not that you're observing the emotion. You're not observing the emotion. Observing the emotion is another thing. So you you are uh, uh, noticing that emotion, but then once you notice, you can just come back to your uh, uh, relaxation if you can. 
and then maybe that emotion disappears. If it doesn't disappear, then you are continuing. You're continuing to uh, 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 notice that, no? And so somehow, like uh, the uh, emotion doesn't become a kind of uh, uh, distraction for you. So wh what does it mean a distraction? Because usually, when we are uh, thinking about the distraction, you know, you are distracted of thinking. Is distracted uh, uh, from thinking uh, what he likes most, you know, because you talk to him, etc., whatever, and and so. Usually when we think about uh, distraction, it means something that takes us away uh, from a particular object, but in this case it's not like that. Uh, distraction simply, uh, uh, simply means that uh, you are, if you are not able to recognize the emotion itself, then you will fall into that. Then you will fall into that. And, uh, at that moment, that it is a distraction. So when you notice and you, you let it go, and then you, it's not that you, you're not distracted and you're coming back to whatever your object of meditation. There's no object of meditation. So we are talking more about <coughs> trying to be in a state of relaxation that allow whatever it is our our uh, natural uh, state uh, of the individual just to, uh, to come to manifest uh, uh, itself, no? So, therefore, that kind of present we are coming back, or that, the kind, that kind of present that we are not distracted from when we recognize the emotion, is not based on anything. It's not like it doesn't have an object. It's a kind of an unsupported uh, uh, sort of thing. So uh, this is uh, what we call uh, the, uh, the approach to the emotion, which is like a, a, a recognition. Now, I'm not saying that this is a kind of an easy thing, because what I have explained is also in terms of capacity, no? When you don't have, a, you, you can see also people. When you don't have capacity, you have to avoid. You go with a person that makes you angry, then what some people, they just say, okay, I'm not going with that person to make uh, me angry, you know? They don't have, they cannot do anything uh, more than that. Maybe another person can look at his mind and say, why well, I'm angry, etc., and overcome that uh, uh, sort of anger and, and disclose that some fantasy that he has in his mind that causes uh, anger. So these approaches are sort of reflect a kind of different uh, uh, capacities. And uh, by the side also, it, they, they reflect also some different kind of spiritual approaches, but this is like for us at the moment, this is not my interest, but uh, so uh, uh, in this way. So it's not that maybe when we hear, oh, this is a recognition, I just, uh, I just do that, you know? Maybe uh, you are uh, in a situation of your life or your capacity are such that you, you just need to to give up things, you know? And then when you are more clear, when your mind is more clear, okay, you can work with what uh, uh, appear and so forth. Uh, oh, there are also methods in which you can uh, combine all the three in one kind of training. So now I, I'm not going to uh, explain that. Uh, so somehow it's like uh, uh, these are the uh, three approaches that uh, generally uh, uh, more like now you know for example if you notice now you heard the sound uh, and somebody walking up and immediately your mind goes there you know so this is mean a distraction there's no reason that you look there you know and for example when you are in a state of presence uh, you uh, I, I also noticed that but I was not distracted for example I didn't need to turn my head by I notice. So you can, you can be present, but uh, mm, at the same time, you, you're not uh, following that, you're not uh, uh, distracted. But we are always into the distraction, you know, we, are, we, we don't have presence, you know. So in generally, like uh, whatever way uh, we approach the emotion, uh, 
the, the main thing is only one, it's only presence and awareness, it's only that. There is no other way in which you can uh, approach uh, 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 the emotions. And uh, so in this last part of uh, uh, recognition, as I said, you know, the emotion good and bad are part of yourself, you know. Make your heart a peace, you know, your anger will always be with you, you know. Your attachment will, be, will always be with you, it's fine, you know. There's no any kind of problem, keep it. Sometimes it's also nice to be attached, no? And, uh, no? <laughs> okay, so this is uh, 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 what I, I uh, wanted to say. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.